Hello everybody, Scott here at iBlaze Northwest. Just thought I'd quickly jump on and do a quick video for you. I'm going to break down the Smock V Thin Kit for you. Just got it in stock. So, first of all, I wanted to please ask everybody, please like and subscribe my video. Um, and obviously, we have a Facebook Hangouts place as well, so you can jump over to there and you can like us on Facebook if you want to, where we post all our offers, deals, etc, etc, stuff like that. But yeah, sorry, I've got a bit of hay fever today. <laughs> so, First of all, I'm going to break down the box for you. So the smock V fins here, with the usual smock box, like literally every single smock box does, as you know. Underneath, as you can probably guess, user manual, spare coil, charger cable, spare seals, stuff like that as usual. You can't go wrong. However, going on from there, the smock V fin has a, <clears throat> a few really, really good things going for it. Very, very high end piece of kit. So, I've got three colours in stock at the moment. First of all, it's very, very nice black and red one, as you can see. Black and rainbow, as usual. You know how much I like rainbow. However, my favourite one is definitely this one. The white and rainbow. It just looks fucking awesome. But uh, a few specifications about this. First of all, it does come with the TFV12 Prince Big Baby Tank. So uh, it does use the TFV8 uh, Big Baby Coil, EU edition in this case. I advise buying the adapter separate online and putting the normal coil in so it can hold uh, 5mm and then, like I say, you can get uh, 110 watts right out of it rather than just 80 watts. Going on from there as well, you can get a bubble glass for this. So you can hold 8mm if you get that adapter or 5mm if you don't, which is still quite nice, but 80 watts. As you can see, it has a variable airflow as usual. The, unlike the big baby, they've got a button on this one, as you can see, which presses it and flicks open. You fill down that hole, which is wider than the TFE8 baby. Um, and again, generally we'll have a bit of a better flavour production. It's got, um, like I say, wider airflow, a bit smoother. It's a very, very nice piece of kit. Nice sort of Cobra drip tip as usual. You can't go wrong. Moving on from there, uh, the main reason, like sort of the main event, the... Um, Biggest thing going for this Smock V fin is first of all a built in battery mod, but it is an insane 8000 milliamp hour battery, which is bigger than most of your dual 18650 battery mods. Near enough bigger than it's like nearly as big as a T3, like a triple battery 18650 mod. It is mad. 160 watts max in terms of the power, which, which considering it's a built in battery, is actually really nice, but at the same respect, like I say. 8,000 milliamp hour, so if you ain't going to use more than 160 watts, wow, highly, highly recommend it for you. Let's show you how it runs. So I've got a TF8 on at the moment. I personally do run 160 watts on this, and it fucking kicks. Chugs like no one's business. Very, very nice piece of kit. So as I was saying, as usual, it's got the smock, sort of smock alien display on there, as you can see, which is kind of nice. Um, it's not, it's not going to have like an X Priv or a Pro Color on it or something like that. It's too small of a screen. One hindrance is, is on the top of the screen. That's the only thing I will say. The screen's at the top. If your tank leaks, you can get into your button. Can get a little bit annoying, but um, other than that, it seems like it's built extremely well. It's definitely made of really high-end metal. Don't get me wrong. It's got, a, it's got a decent weight to it. I'm not going to lie. It's got a decent weight, USB charge as usual, I presume, I mean it looks very well built, it looks like it's not going to break easily. Got a nice reset pin so you can reset the mod as well. Full variable power, as a what is mode temperature control, all that usual stuff as well. It's got a nice puff counter on it. Um, let's see, let's have a look at the temperature controls. So we're running nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Yeah, can't go wrong. It's an extremely good piece of kit. You have a memory mode as well, so if you want to go up in tens and stuff like that, which most people do. But yeah, all rounded modern tank for 110 watt, 110 watt tank and 160 watt mod with a massive 8000 milliamp power battery. Um, Smock have really, really gone out. It's, it was, it's definitely better than the T150 they made, um, but it's, it's a very good piece of kit. But other than that, if everybody wants any information on it, it's, I mean, anything in particular you need to know that. That I haven't covered there anyway. Feel free to ask me. I know a hell of a lot about near enough every smart device, including these. I've done a bit of research on these already. But um, other than that, um, please like and subscribe our page. Like I say, uh, the more you can do, the more videos we can do. I'm going to start doing trick videos and tutorials and stuff at some point once we get a few more viewers on this, just so we can actually expand it and it'll grow from there. Um, obviously, the more viewers we are, the more trick. There's no point doing a trick video for people who aren't going to watch it yet. 
but yeah other than that um, thanks everyone for watching please like and subscribe us jump over to our Facebook page like I say we do post all our offers we do giveaways and like I'll say all our new stock and stuff like that comes in goes on there as well you can speak to us directly as well ask us whatever you, you know, what we've got in stock or anything like that but other than that have a lovely day bye bye